So perfect square trinomials have this form. The idea, so if it, if it looks exactly like this, then we can re rewrite it like this. Um, so our goal is to check to see if it is in this form. Um, so how how would you do that? So here are the steps. If you have the the third term, you can square root it. So you get regular b. Take the first term, square root it. You get regular a, and you multiply those together and times it by 2. If that gives you the middle term, then you can automatically rewrite your trinomial like that. So the problem that we had was this. So this is, it's a trinomial because there are three terms. Um, it's weird to see that you can factor it, but you can. And here's how we check. Remember, you take the square root of this. So if I did the square root, that's the same thing as the square root of the top and the square root of the bottom, which is the same thing as 1, because the square root of 1 is 1. The square root of 4x is the same thing as the square root of 4 times the square root of x. So that's just square root of x and 2. So that will be b. So that's our b term. So that, if this works out, that's what will go there. Um, our a term is when we take the square root of that. That's just like x over 4. So we take the square root, we get the square root of x over 2. That's going to be our a term, if this works out. Now what we do is we have to check 2ab. If we take b times a and also multiply it by 2, and we get the middle term, then we can automatically rewrite it like that. If we don't get the middle term, then it's not a perfect squared trinomial. So let's take a, which is square root of x over 2, times it by b, which is 1 over 2 square root of x, and then also multiply it by 2. So now, right now, we're checking 2ab. So the square root of x cancels. One of those twos cancel with the denominator 2. And we're just left with 1 half, which is the middle term. So immediately, we can just write a, which is square root of x divided by 2, plus b, right, plus b, yeah, which was 1 over 2 square root of x, and then say quantity squared. Now it's important for us, anytime you're doing like arc length stuff, because we have that square root involved. So if you can get a perfect square like this, then the square root and the square cancel out, and you get um, an easier integral. So that's the, the trick. You, you take the square root, take the square root, multiply it together, and multiply by 2. If you get the middle term, then you can immediately write it as a perfect square. And that's it.